Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see how to cal calculate the input resistance of this circuit. Now here we are going to draw the equivalent model of this one. The equivalent model will be looking like this. We will have V phi R phi here. This is R phi resistance and the voltage across this is V phi. And then we here we will have a current source that is Gm V phi. and this one is attached to ground and here we will have another voltage source let's call this one vx plus minus and then this connected to the ground and here we will have r1 another resistance connected to the ground okay <clears throat> now we are going to we are going to create an equation here we can say that minus from this one we can say minus vx minus v phi is equal to zero so we can say vx is equal to negative v phi and here one thing we have to know the input resistance is going to be equivalent to vx over ix so if we can derive an equation for vx over ix then we are fine now to do that first i'm going to apply Kirchhoff's current law if we apply Kirchhoff's current law, current entering should be equal to exiting. So here, what are the currents entering? So let's say Ix is entering, Ix current entering plus Gm by 5. Let's say Ix is the current here. Ix mean it should be going through this. Ix ix is equal to gm by gm v phi plus v phi over r phi that's equal to vx over rx actually r1 this resistance now that's it that's it for this one now he, here if we replace all the v5 with vx because we want to have vx over ix to calculate our input so if we replace all the v5 with vx this is going to be negative vx so ix plus gm times negative vx plus negative vx over r5 that's equal to vx over r1 now let's continue here And if I keep this ix this side and move the other things to the other side, it's going to be ix is equal to vx over r1 plus vx gm plus vx over r5. Now here if, if I take vx common, this is going to be 1 over r1 plus gm plus 1 over r5 then vx over ix is equal to 1 over 1 over r1 plus gm plus 1 over r5 this is the final derivation now to write this one in a better way we can make this one everything in terms of parallel but this gm should be written as 1 over 1 over gm so we can make it look like a parallel so 1 over 1 over r1 because we have to have everything 1 over so 1 over 1 over gm is same as gm because this will flip around and go to the top so to show this in a parallel i write it in this way plus 1 over r5 so finally we can say that this one r input because vx over ix is equal to r input r input is equal to 1 over 1 over gm parallel r5 parallel r1 okay and that is the input resistance and that's how we do that i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching 
and if you are trying to learn electronics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watched it too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time